Hello and welcome to Midland Technical Translation's first podcast. At MTT, we believe in making translation easy, so we've put together a seven-step guide that we feel will make the translating of your documents an easier, quicker, and more successful process. So firstly, step one. Cut out what you don't need. It's best to decide what needs translating right at the start, as not everything may be necessary. For example, some parts of your text may not be applicable to your target country. Try using pictures instead of words, just like IKEA. There'll be no chance for misinterpretation, and it'll be cheaper. Only use text when it's the best way of getting your message across. Step 2. Write with translation in mind. Remember that English clichés often don't translate, or may even be impolite. Be wary of including jokes, and consider that visual images often don't carry the same meaning abroad. It's a good idea to check with your localization specialist that your text does include all things necessary for that geographical area, which you may have not considered necessary in the English. For example, make sure all international calling codes are given, and that addresses are complete. And remember to write with the end reader in mind. Is it a child, a lawyer, or a technician that's going to be reading your document? Step 3. Give the translator as much information as possible. It's in your interest if he or she asks questions. Tell them what your text is for. Is it a brochure, a display, an instruction leaflet, a speech? Then they can adjust the style accordingly. Ensure that they have a number for a technical specialist. That's always a good idea so that any queries can be cleared up easily. Terminology can always be improved by sending your translator background material, particularly if it's a short text with little context for translation. Websites are often a useful guide and particular sections can be highlighted to assist translation. Your translator will read your text with great care and will usually flag up any errors in the original document, so you might want to think about waiting to release the original until after the translations are produced. At MTT, we encourage our translators to talk to our customers directly, so queries can be answered without a game of Chinese whispers. Step 4. Make your mind up. It should go without saying that you should make sure that everything is finalised before sending text for translation. Rewriting costs more and takes longer, and it's much more frustrating and confusing than getting your text right first time. If updated versions have to be sent, please take the time to mark any changes if you can. It will save you a lot of money in the long run. Step 5. Don't cut corners to save costs. If you speak a foreign language fluently, there's still a very good chance that your written language will not be as fluent and grammatically correct as that of a native speaker. This may well be a compromise that you wish to make if price is your main consideration, but if you wish to promote a professional international image, it may well make the difference to your success in dealing with your customers. We can always check over anything you've written for style and grammar. But we hear you say, what about machine translation? Of course, online machine translation can be useful for getting the gist of something. But when you consider the amount of time and money you've put into creating your document and the project work behind it, it's only sensible to get it professionally translated. Step 6. Allow enough time. A guideline for timing is that a translator can comfortably produce approximately 2,000 to 2,500 words a day. So that's up to 10 to 12,000 words a week. This allows time for queries, research and proofreading. At MTT, every job is subject to our own in-house check, for which we like to allow a sensible amount of time. Our quotations always show an estimated delivery, which can then be guaranteed when you're ready to place the order. Small jobs of a page or so can usually be returned the same day. In all things, however, the more time you can give, the better. Think about how long it took you to write your text and how much care you took. We'd like at least as long if possible. And finally, step seven. Choose your translator with care. You may have an individual translator you already work with, but an agency such as MTT have specialists in all areas. Your local freelancer may be excellent with your particular technical vocabulary, but are they also competent with legal or financial terms? If you have access to freelance translators, it may seem like a better option to go directly to them, and in many cases it may be cheaper. But the benefits of using an agency like MTT can be significant. We provide guaranteed availability of a suitable mother tongue linguist. Your preferred translator may be ill, too busy or on holiday, and we have access to over 500 tried and tested translators worldwide. 
we can ensure continuity of translator. Our records show who did your last job, and they will be our preferred choice for the same type of material. We offer a proofreading option for materials for publication, as well as a project management team to keep your translators on track. And importantly, we provide one point of contact for multilingual projects. You'll speak to one contact person who will arrange as many language options as you need, keep your project under control, and save you hours of phone calls and emails. Many people think of translation as an afterthought when designing a product and its documentation, and this can create a panic when an inquiry comes in from abroad, and no one really understands what's going on. With a little thought, you can help give your company the edge, and whether you choose to use MTT or not, make the most of your translation supplier. If you'd like more information on making translation easy, go to our website at www.midlandtechnical.co.uk. In the meantime, thanks for listening.